Burst pipes canceled school for the day at a high school in Reynoldsburg and at Licking Heights Middle School, too. Storm Team 4's Liz McGiffin is live in Reynoldsburg tonight to tell us how to make sure that your pipes are safe through all the ups and downs of this winter weather. Liz? Well, right now I'm in Reynoldsburg at the high school at the Summit Campus, where earlier today, what started off with a two hour delay very fast became just a day off of school, all because of a busted pipe. And after talking to the waterworks, we found out that that could be a problem thanks to all of the ups and downs in our temperature heading our way, even if you are at a home. Bundling up in the winter is just as important for your pipes as it is for your skin. If you put a wind chill on a water line for minutes, uh, you're going you're gonna to freeze that area, that water pipe. And one way to layer them up is with insulation like this. It's almost like frostbite. Frostbite can hit pipes and it freezes the ice instead of the skin. It doesn't do any good if you ex cover most of the pipe. You've got to cover all the pipe and all the fittings. Otherwise, you're still going to be at risk there. Which was the problem at the Reynoldsburg High School Summit Campus. We found out it's insulated on the top and the bottom. However, that cold wind and frigid temperatures must have gotten in some way through that middle section. Since water expands as it freezes, the ice can create a little crack, which could end up costing you thousands of dollars. These uh, little piercings uh, that the ice have caused in the water lines, and that's when we're, we're at much greater risk of the damage that the frozen water line is going to cost then the cost of fixing a frozen water line. The damages can be extraordinary. A simple way to make sure that your pipes are staying warm is to just open up the cabinet doors. You can also turn on a steady stream of water in the sink to make sure that the water is moving so it won't freeze. Well, Reynoldsburg Schools does say that the they're ongoing with repairing that pipe, but the goal is still to have school back in session like normal. Local for you in Reynoldsburg, I'm Liz McGithin, NBC4. All right, Liz, thank you for that update.